All right, so in this video, we're gonna do text behind an object again, except a little more advanced in that we're going to, uh, we're going to track our objects. So we're gonna do two clips in here, this one and then this one here, where we mask out the car. Uh, I'd highly suggest you watch that first simple, easy video first, because we're gonna sort of speed through some of these things that you should already know. All right, so let's go ahead and get on it, man. All right, so we have reset our clips. We're gonna start fresh, just like you will. And as long as you watch that first video, you're gonna know uh, pretty much of everything that we have to do. Now we're still gonna use the color page in this video. If I had really complex animations I had to do, I'd probably use Fusion, but we can do some animation or tracking of our mask here in the color page. So first up, I'll just hit P uh, to get full screen and you can see uh, that we have a tracking shot here. So she's not moving very much. So this should be a really easy shot to track in the color page. And same thing for this shot right here of a car just driving past uh, the screen, which we'll get to after this here. So first step, we already know what to do, right? Because I'm assuming you watched that video. Hold down Alt and make a copy of our clip and then pull it up to track three. And this time we're gonna use the title plus tool. We'll get a little bit more into that uh, later on. Let's just go ahead and drag it in here and pull it out there. Very good. And for now, bypass this clip on top so we can see our text right there. Select my uh, clip and type in whatever we want. Waterfall, relaxation, swim, whatever. I'll just say text for now. I'll take the size up a bit. I can always click here if I want and if I want to you know, adjust this stuff uh, like that. You don't want to use all of these uh, sliders here, but I'm just going to move it, say, there for now. We'll get back to this in just a moment. All right, so there's our text for now. Click my uh, top clip here, turn it back on, make sure it's selected, and let's head over to color. So we need to, of course, mask her out. We're going to start here, of course, on our power windows and the pin tool, and I can start my mask anywhere I want on the timeline. You might want to start it from the beginning, so that way you only have to track in one direction. But let's just start it, let's say, right here, and then we'll track backwards and forwards. So again, power window, our pin tool, mouse wheel, to scroll in, press down on the mouse wheel to move it around, and let's just go ahead and mask her out. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because you should already know how to do this, just clicking to create points. If you ever need to create a curve, click and hold, and you can make a curve there, all right? So I'm just gonna go around her really quick here. And if you look right here, you can see we have these spaces between her arms. Now we have to mask those out too if we want the text to look realistic going behind her, okay? So I'm just going to come straight across right here and then come up her arm on the inside here and mask this out as well. Then I'll cross over here a bit, cross back down here. And I'm just gonna come right across her because we don't need her entire body for this uh, shot. The text won't be this far down anyway. So go ahead and make sure again that we mask out this inside area as well. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna have this water uh, in front of the text whenever it goes around her. And we don't, uh, don't want that. Just cross over here and then straight over and then up the other side. Pretty simple stuff. And then make sure we get our circle icon and close that mask. All right, now I can come in here and make any corrections that I need to, like right here, for example, and make sure this is properly uh, where it needs uh, to be. All right, so that's pretty good. You can, of course, spend a little bit more time on your mask, especially here for like uh, her hair. You might want to come out a bit here, but that should be pretty good uh, for what we want for now. All right, so we can't see through it yet, and that's because we need a alpha output, right? So again, over here, right click, add alpha output. You should already know this if you watched the first video and connect that blue node to that blue node. Now we can see through it. Of course, if I move off of this frame, then it's not going to work, right? Because we haven't tracked that mask yet. So we got to go ahead and track that. Make sure I'm on the proper frame, which is about right here. Come down to your tracker, select that. I don't think we're going to need 3D on this. Probably don't need rotate. Uh, I'll leave it on just for now. And now we need to track in reverse because we have space down here uh, where the clip starts and then track forward because we have, of course, space up here. So 
just click track reverse. That's going to track her. Very good. And now I can track the entire thing from this area from the uh, very beginning if I want, or I can move my playhead up to this keyframe and then just track forward, whatever you really want to do. And then we'll track forward from there. And it's holding on her pretty well. I can always zoom in here and see what happened. And we can see that it wasn't a perfect track. So this is not a big deal. Let me come over here to frame. Okay. I'm going to come back, say, maybe here. I'm going to put a keyframe there. I'm just going to move this whole entire mask over a bit right there. All right. I'm not having to actually animate any of these points. You actually can animate things like this as well, but uh, we're not going to do that uh, in this case here. Uh, you don't have to actually press the keyframe button over here in frame. Uh, as long as you move your playhead here. And then if I make an adjustment, you can see down here, it puts me in a keyframe uh, for me. I'm just used to always clicking on my keyframes. So if you're, again, if your mask just isn't correct, you can uh, fix it like that over here in the frame. But that looks pretty good for what we want. Let's go ahead and soften her up a little bit back here to our power windows. And we're going to soften up this edge right here because it looks, it looks a little bit harsh, right? So we're going to soften that up just like we did in the previous video. So just pull a little bit in. I don't want a ton because it's going to bleed through way too much, right? So just a little bit to make it look a little bit more natural. All right. You can adjust the inside and the outside all at once down here if you need to. But I think we have a pretty good overall track now. Okay. Back over to edit. Just a real quick look here. And it looks pretty good to me. So now we can go ahead. You know, it's coming through these areas here, which looks really cool. And even here, so there's a little bit off right here. Again, we already know how to fix this back here in color and our tracker and over here on frame. And we can just make our adjustments manually there and get it perfect. All right, so that's even better right there. So let's go ahead and start animating our text. We're gonna use the text plus tool. Uh, just select it, inspector. I'm gonna go over this really quick here. So if I need to adjust the size, I can do it here. It goes up to 0.5. If I need any higher than that, I can just type in like, you know, 0.6, and then I'll have more room here to make this larger or smaller. But just a real quick overview of this here. We have a lot of things that we can do. We can do a real quick write on effect just by keyframing the start and end and have that write on. Uh, of course, change your text color here, change your font here. We have a bunch of different tabs up top here. That correspond to a lot of different uh, options that you have. You can make it, you know, go on a circle if you want, but we want point in this case. We can adjust the center Z. And whenever you see this little dot here, uh, just click that and it will set it back to the default. Okay. Uh, we have plenty of different rotation options that we can use, set things up, and of course, track those with our keyframes. So if I wanted to start here, I could keyframe that right there. I could come over here and of course, change the uh, uh, Y rotation of that and have some animation in there. So you have a lot more options uh, with this tool than you do the standard text tool. Come over here, we can animate by character and space things out. That might be cool to sort of animate coming in. Again, just press this little dot, sets it back to the default. Again, more things like rotation here. Uh, shear, we can shear that. But it's gonna be a little different than by doing it by uh, character. So as you can see, I rotate just the characters versus putting it on words and rotating the entire word. Okay. Put that back on character and set that back. Over here, we have a lot of different options for our shading. Uh, so I could go to a gradient, which is what we're going to end up using is a gradient. I can put more stops in here just by clicking and choosing, you know, whatever colors I want to go between. Let's move those around. I can change that to an outline or a lot of different options that we have in here. We have softness and apply that to the fill color and pull that up however much you want. We can pull some glow in there, get a really cool effect. Come over to say number two, we can enable that. By default, it's a red outline. So we can uh, you know, have whatever sort of outline that we want on this. Come over to uh, three. By default, it's a drop shadow. Make sure you enable that. And then of course, adjust uh, your position of that drop shadow, however you want. Now, keep in mind, we have glow turned on for number one here. 
and the softness so it looks a little bit uh, different. So if I pull that down like that, then come back to three, you can see that drop shadow uh, much, much better there, as you can see there. And you can animate all of these things separately, okay? So you have a bunch of different elements that you can choose from and set up, uh, you know, basically whatever you want, put another outline on it. If I wanted to make it super thick, make it white, so on and so forth. All right. So what I'm going to do is set up my text and I'm going to go through, I'm going to start animating things. You should already know how to animate things from that first video. So I don't want to bore you with, you know, doing it all over again. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get my text set up and get it all animated here. All right, so now here we have our text. I play through, there's the animation. As you can see, we're sort of dropping frames. That's because this is a fusion clip. And sometimes depending on your animation, you might need to have that render for proper playback. So just come up here to playback, render cache, and turn this to either smart or user. Smart will work for us. You'll see a red line appear over everything that needs to be rendered and it will turn blue after it is completely rendered. So you can see we have a bunch of different animation in here for our uh, text. We have some animation here on this Y value. As you can see, it's pulling it over. We have animation over here in some of these other tabs over here where we have rotation uh, going on here as well. You can see this Y value for that rotation. So we'll go full screen, playback, and it looks pretty good i can soften up those edges a little bit more but overall that looks really really cool there by using that text plus tool and by tracking the mask that we created and of course if you ever need to make any adjustments super easy man just head right back to color make sure you have your proper you know clip selected there make any adjustments you need uh, to this come over here to frame if you want to animate manually of course you can always retrack uh, if you need to it's a really easy way to get a high quality sort of visually stunning effect that is as you can tell uh, if i wasn't talking through this whole thing uh, it might take five minutes to do right so it looks pretty cool for the amount of time it really takes to do it so let's move on to another clip now you don't have to watch this part if you don't want to we're going to be literally doing the same exact thing but uh, let's go ahead and do it to this car as well select my clip alt drag the copy up this time we're just gonna grab the standard text tool, throw it in there, super simple. We're gonna turn this clip off just so I can see my text. Select it, I'm gonna type in drive. I'm gonna change the color so I can actually see it. Say black, I'm gonna change my font to something that looks a little bit better. Looks good, I'm pull the size up. I'm gonna make it uh, say italic and maybe move it up. Say here, I'm gonna put a drop shadow on it like that that looks a little bit better and maybe put a stroke on it whatever color you want all right so there we have our text done select our clip we're gonna turn it on come over here to color and go ahead and mask this out and we can again mask out at any point that we want we'll just say about there same stuff here power window pin tool and go ahead and mask it out just gonna do it real quick here now, because I don't need this you know, portion down here, the text won't be this low. I'm not going to worry about that bottom part. I'm just going to come straight across here because it doesn't matter in this case. And then go ahead and come up this side here and connect our mask. There we go. And we know what we need to do, right? Right click, alpha output, connect, and there's our text. Of course, we still need to track. So come over to the tracker and. Uh, don't think we're gonna need 3D on that one. Uh, but we'll go ahead and track in reverse. Okay, it's a little bit off. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Just gonna grab it and uh, sort of move this up a bit here. And let me just see how this tracks going forward. So I lost the track, no big deal. I'm gonna come back here and just move my mask where it needs to be and make sure it's about right. And then I'll track that forward. Let me see how it did. Now, in this case, the back of the car, because we sort of changed perspective a bit, is now showing through. So I can even change this mask right here if I need to, and it will grow. Uh, it will animate uh, as it goes through. As you'll see there, it animates further back. Okay, so that's a pretty good track overall. Head back here to edit. 
and just play through and there it is just spend as much time with this as you need pull down on the inside of it here and there we go we should have a pretty good track right there boom super simple super easy really fast to do over here in the color page all right so that is how you can put text behind an object and track it and also use that text plus tool here in DaVinci Resolve.